okay recently i've been getting a lot of questions in the comment section as you can see here a lot of people want to know how to make money online others want to see more review videos of other businesses so i have decided to answer those questions one video at a time those videos will be uploaded shortly so if you don't want to miss out on all that then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be informed when i put out new videos if you're new here welcome this channel is all about wealth business and making money online so if any of these topics interest you then join the family we'll be glad to have you i believe everyone can be a millionaire from scratch i would never share with you what i do not believe in according to fortune.com 1700 people become millionaires on a daily basis in the united states and we're not talking about inherited wealth, we're talking about wealth built from scratch. So in this video, I want to cover the most common ways people achieve the millionaire status and how you can model that to suit your present circumstances. You definitely don't want to miss out on this video. Grab a pen, grab a paper if you must. If there are other topics you want to be covered in subsequent videos, please drop them in the comment section. I'll be happy to address all of them. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. As an average person, it does take a few years to achieve millionaire status. All these videos on YouTube telling you that you can make $200 a day with little effort, just ignore them. If it were that easy, do you think they would ignore that means of making money to go through the stress of producing a 10 minute long video? I don't think so. I'm not saying that it isn't possible to make that much money. My point is, it isn't as easy as they paint it to be. Most of them have been in the make money online niche for close to 10 years and that's how long it has taken them to amass all that money and you're definitely not going to make it in one day. So it didn't take them one day and it was a lot of effort on their part. So don't listen to anyone who is promising you that you can make easy money. It just doesn't happen. In an ultra competitive society like the one we live in today, it is impossible to make easy money. If you believe I am wrong and you know someone who has made easy money, or perhaps you are making easy money yourself, let us know in the comment section below. Please share. What I am saying is, whoever you are watching this video, set a 10-year goal. If you are feeling pumped, then set a 5-year goal. If you are consistent, it doesn't take much longer than that to make a million dollars. So with that out of the way, the first method I want to discuss is become an authority in your profession. Join the top 1%. Contrary to the movement we are observing today about how formal education isn't worth it anymore and how online education is the new deal, formal education is still valid and it will still be very valid for at least another 50 years or so. The reason why online education is getting so much popularity is beyond the scope of this video but we are crafting a video for you guys so that you can really see what is going on. With that being said, think about it this way, most people on earth are average. And end up with an average income so if you want to have well above average income then you have to be way better than someone who is considered average in your profession some photographers don't earn much some others are millionaires some standard comedians don't earn much some others are millionaires i know more than one factor is at play here but a good place to start is to dominate your profession you may think that advanced degrees do not matter but studies have shown that those with an advanced degree like masters or PhDs, they earn 66% higher than those who do not have advanced degrees. You do not need to go to college if you don't want to. And quite frankly, there are a ton of ways to end up becoming a millionaire without having to go to college. Take Graham Stephan for example, a 13 year old American who became a millionaire at the age of 26. He didn't go to college, he made all his money from, well not all of the money anyway, he made his money from real estate. So college isn't the only means, but it significantly increases your chances. There are a couple of 9 to 5 jobs that earn you 6 figures monthly across all professions. So a good salary from your profession is a good place to start. Uh, if you do not fancy going to college, that is fine. There are other things on this list that will spark ideas for you on how to reach your financial goals. Start a company or a side hustle. 
we are in the age of entrepreneurship. There are as many companies as grains of rice in the world today and more spring up daily. As long as there is a service that you can provide and there is a market craving for that service, boom, there you have it. That's the company. If you do not want to start a company, then perhaps begin a side hustle. It could be photography, it could be article writing, it could be videography. Anything you feel you can do, there is usually someone out there who needs those services. Side hustles are usually perfect in combination with perhaps your 9 to 5 job or maybe your company. It is just important to have an extra source of income rolling in. I regret to inform you that your side hustle is probably someone else's main hustle. So while you are only able to put in a few hours daily, this other person pours in 10 to 12 hours daily. So it will be difficult to compete with them, but that doesn't matter. What's important is that you keep going. Just about every market you can think of is saturated. Every niche is competitive. The one thing that would guarantee you success is consistency. Let that sink in. Consistency. Without it, just forget it. You'll never get there. The next one is closely related to starting a side hustle, and that is to level up. Learn a new skill. Learn the latest software in your profession. Be up to date with the things that interest you. It's quite easy to become out of date because of the speed at which innovations are hitting us. There are people who don't sleep. They are working day and night to bring about these innovations. It's a no-brainer to capitalize on these innovations to make your hustle move smoother and faster. One of my friends, his name is Spencer. He usually worked a media job and decided to learn some basic programming that would land him a job that pays between $35,000 to $50,000 yearly. He completed the learning got the job, bought an apartment, rented out a room in the apartment, and added a side hustle to the mix. So Spencer has about three sources of income today. His job, his side hustle, his rent from a room in the apartment. He's by no means a millionaire yet, but I think he's on the right track. This is proof that anyone can change their circumstances. And by the way, it took him three years to get to this point. So perhaps in another three years, who knows where he would be? So remember, it does take a few years, but with consistency and clarity, I assure you, you will get there. Investing There are a ton of scammy businesses out there. As a general rule, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. There are a few businesses someone in the comment section asked me to review. I would have to do that very soon. I sincerely apologize for the delay. But by far, the one place I feel is safe to put your money is in the stock market. And remember, the stock market is a long-term game. You make a ton of money when you have consistently invested there for a very long time. I'm talking about decades of investment. Warren Buffett began investing in the stock market when he was 14 years old. So you can imagine how many years of investing he has under his belt. But don't dive blindly into the stock market. You definitely want to take a course or two so that you know what you're doing. A lot of people dive into the stock market blind and you don't want to be among those people. Udemy is a great place to get really good stock market and financial analyst courses for really cheap amounts, 10 bucks or so. Please leave in the comment section other topics you want me to cover in other videos. I'll be delighted to do that. One more thing you need to remember is that perhaps the best time to begin investing in the stock market is when you have a substantial steady source of income. For instance, if you are still a student and you can only spare a few bucks monthly to invest, at the end of the year, even if you get a 10% return on investment, which is really huge percentage by the way, it will still amount to very little at the end of the entire year because your investment capital is little. Let's say at the end of the year you have $100 invested. A 10% return amounts to only $110, including your investment capital. Your $100 savings would serve you better if you saved it up for a camera to begin a side hustle in videography. Or perhaps a course that would improve your knowledge on a certain subject area that would reward you handsomely eventually. I have seen a lot of scammy businesses, especially in the area of cryptocurrency when I was still in college. I borrowed $500 to invest in a cryptocurrency trading firm which promised a 400% return in a few months. Of course, it was a scam. 
I lost my money and I had to pay back through my nostrils. The guy behind the company was eventually apprehended but I don't think anyone got a refund. I certainly didn't get a refund. So all these wannabe companies that promised a 100% ROI in 10 days, you might want to take a really close look before considering dumping your money there. The only one I have seen that promises 15% monthly, which in my opinion is huge anyway, is Sari More and I cannot recommend it in this video because I have not yet done a complete research on the company but once I do, I will have a video on it and in that video I will let you know if I recommend it or not. Get a passive income source. I cannot emphasize this one enough. Start now to give it a thought and perhaps in time you will eventually come up with something that gives you just that. The actors of the 1997 movie Titanic are still earning passive income from that movie to date. For you, perhaps you may write a book or a few books, start a blog, sell a really useful digital product, own shares of a really big company, it's up to you. But I assure you that passive income, irrespective of how little it is, it is absolutely worth it. Then perhaps if you're a genius, then you can work on an invention or something of that nature. So, I do hope this video does provide you some value. If it did, then leave us a like, subscribe, and comment down below what your greatest takeaway from this video is. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. As always, stay energized.